Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me Popcorn again, and uh, I'm here to show you some un unboxing today. Well, this afternoon. So anyways, here we have my motherboard. Um, P7P55D Pro. It is compatible with the 1156 socket for Intel. It supports SLI and Crossfire in case I want to go NVIDIA or ATI. And um, apparently it's 100% ultra long life Japan made solid cap. I don't know, you can't go wrong with an Asus so. though. Anyways, let's get to unboxing the motherboard and then we'll get to unboxing my Core i7. 860, 1156 socket. So, motherboard first. Here we got our user's manual, where it shows you how to install your RAM and everything. Yep. Here we have a quick guide for how to install the CPU. Um, easy RAM overclock mode all that crap. Here we have our IDE cable. Uh, yep. Here we have our um, rear case mounting bracket. That's a external SATA and then there's two USBs. That just mounts right in the back of your case on the expansion slot. And then the other end just plugs into your motherboard. Here we have our two little um, easy connectors for the motherboard. You uh, plug the white part in onto the motherboard, or no, that's reverse. You plug it in like that, and then these it just it just limits the amount of pins so that you know where to put everything. Then here we have two two SATA cables in this pack and two set of cables in this pack too. And then here we have our rear mounting plate for the motherboard. This is back the case. Here we have a CD for drivers and stuff. And then to the actual motherboard itself. Here we have three graphics card slots. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting three though. We have uh, RAM slots, CPU slot, north bridge coolers, and the south bridge cooler. Here we have some up, like standing up, facing uh, SATA ports, and then some flat ones. And that's pretty much it. Oops. So that's it for the motherboard. Um, here, I'll just put this in here. And all the crap for now. Oops. There. Put that. Oh my god. Put that over there. Right now, the Core i7. So, as we can see here, Intel hyper threading. Yeah, this has hyper threading. I kind of already opened it, but oh well. Turbo Boost technology, smart cache, integrated memory controller, supports two channel DDR3 memory, it's the 1156 socket, and apparently a graphics card required. Anyway, let's flip it on its side, open that. So here we have the uh, user guide for, I'm not sure exactly, on the back it in included a sticker which I already stuck on my case because it's, it's not, it's not, it's not the, it's not the friggin processor or the board or the graphics card, it's all about the sticker man, all the sticker. 
And then here we just have the lame Intel stock cooler for the 1156 socket. PWM 4 pin design, and that's pretty much it. And then here we have the oops, actual CPU itself. On the underside here, there's 1,156 pins that have to contact the uh, motherboard. So that's that. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else to see, so... Uh, oh yes, um, Intel's lovely looking box. I'm gonna keep it. So thanks for watching my unboxing of my Asus P7P55D Pro motherboard and the Intel Core i7-860. If you like my shit, subscribe, rate, comment, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.